Hey kids, how about a history lesson? What's inside the new VideoGamesMonthly.com, the monthly retro video game subscription service? Well, it's back to school. As you are watching this video, we are well into September. And of course, now you guys are starting to go to your schools. I mean, for us oldies, us old timers, we're just going to work on a daily basis. But for you younger viewers watching this, you are now getting into new classrooms, new classmates, new faces that maybe you've never seen before. Videogamesmonthly.com may not be a classroom, but it can certainly teach you all about history. More importantly, retro video game history. As every single month dropped off at your doorstep, they'll deliver to you. Maybe retro video titles that, as a younger viewer, you've never even heard of. But many of us old people watching were like, yes, I remember playing that. Such retro games for the classic Nintendo Entertainment System, for the Sega Master System, even TurboGrafx-16 can all be contained inside this box. If you guys would like to go back to the past, so to speak, you can click the link down below in the video description, and it'll take you on over to Video Games Monthly's Video Games Monthly website. We're going to go ahead and open up the newest box for Video Games Monthly for September. You can see as well, it's playing the past into the future. No tape, no slicing required whatsoever. Stop that, stop that. As there, uh, this was actually shipped in such a, a much larger box. Now let's see inside what we got exactly. Now the neat thing also about VideoGamesMonthly.com, pulling out one of the cards just to remind you. First of all, you can win three free games. Post your box to social media for a chance to win three free games in your next box. Video Games Monthly chooses one random winner every single month. I, yes, did add single. Single wasn't part of that. But the thing I also want to tell you, though, is we hope you enjoy your latest box. Please update your library on the website by adding these games and any other games you may have acquired. All updates to your gaming library must be made seven days prior to the end of the month. Thank you for reminding me. Small card with tiny little mascot in the corner. Video Games Monthly. The neat thing about it is that you can specifically cater the subscription service to what exactly you're collecting. If you collect Nintendo, for example, and have little to no interest in anything at Sega... You can have selected only just the consoles that you want to get games for. And like I said, you could do away with completely the Sega stuff, the TurboGrafx-16, or on the flip end of it, you don't want to come anywhere near a Nintendo system and you want to collect only just Sega. Again, you can customize the list for you. And again, you can also update your library too. So if you have picked up something from a, a yard sale of flea market or somebody was just giving away games, uh, give me a, let me know who that is, by the way. I'll, I'll give, them, give them a call. But yeah, uh, easily you can just go in and update your library to ensure that those games aren't the ones that they're going to send to you in the next following box moving that to the side the first game that we're going to have a look at here is the sega genesis and this actually is quack shot i remember very vividly playing quack shot not from a game that i had but my friend had sega genesis i think his name was was it trent kent ken Something with an E and an N in it. I'm so bad at remembering names. He had a Sega, and I remember playing this one quite quite a lot, actually. Short of a few little scratches here on the front of the label, actually, the game is in pretty good-looking condition. I'm going to give that a shot a little bit later. Also inside here, we have the Casino Kid. Uh, there's 21, there's poker, and apparently dollar dollars. There's big ways to play and win money. Probably not real money. Comes to us from Sawful. And I, I don't have this game at all. I mean, that's one of the beauties of getting games subscription services like this. Is that you're probably not going to be going out of your way to try to track down Casino Kid. But if it happens to be inside of a box like this, you can now add this to your game library as a game that you never had before. I'm going to put that right over there. Also got inside here... Now, this is Pocket Monsters Stadium, or Pokemon. I'm not sure what actually this says here on the front. If somebody could please let me know down below in the comments section. But i got to say, like, that's a cool-looking label. It's metallic. And uh, I don't know, it seems really heavy. Quite a lot heavier than what I'm used to seeing with Nintendo 64 titles. There's a lot of weight going on here. It feels like a brick. I don't know why specifically this one feels so heavy. But, yeah, if you know the name of this game, is it just Pokemon? Or if this is just Pocket Monsters Stadium, do let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, also for the Wii, got myself Sean White Skateboarding. I tried skateboarding once. It didn't go all that well. I think, I think, in fact, I remember going down a hill. The skateboard went this way. I went rolling and tumbling this way. Thank goodness there was a bush to break my fall. 
Now this actually does seem to use the compatible with the Wii balance board, but I think you can also still use, yeah, the controller and the and the Wii mote. You can transform your world, change streets and half pipe into half pipes, morph buildings into ramps, and extend rails for endless grinds, alone or with friends. In the only game that gives you the power to shape, create, and ride the ultimate skate park. Honestly, I've never even heard of Sean White, but that may be have something to do with the fact that the skateboard went this way. And I went rumbling and tumbling this way. <laughs> Again, thank goodness for that bush. We also got inside for the PlayStation 2. Brand new. Never been opened. Pipe Mania. Never heard of it. Pipe Mania. Let's see what we got here on the back. Join Alfonso Jr. and his sister Fawcett in a race against time to save their paradise island. Home from pollution and cowboy plumbers. Did they actually spell... I'm going to have to stop and think about this for a second. Did they spell pollution wrong? P-O-L-L? -L? I guess maybe that's the case. I feel embarrassed if that if that actually is true. Pipe Mania is a, is a phonetically charged puzzle game that will challenge your mental skills to the maximum across, across intense, fast-paced levels. Be the puzzles set by island residents and become Pipe Mania Puzzle Master. That sounds kind of interesting, actually. Key features, 300 plus levels across five game modes, World Arcade, Bonus, Versus, and the updated classic Pipe Mania game. Play cooperatively and competitively with another player. Enhance visuals and a host of characters to help and hinder attacks and damage. New pieces, new play mechanics, and multiple fluzes. So that actually says fluzes? Fluzes. Apparently that's a word. And the last thing we got inside, just want to make sure, yeah, last thing we also got ourselves, speaking of things that are shiny, that's a cool looking sticker. Ooh, I feel like I'm in a dance club. Do, 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 do. Everybody scream! Do, do, do. <laughs> if you guys are interested, segueing away from dance clubs, if you guys are interested and would like to subscribe to videogamesmonthly.com, you can click the link down below in the video description. And even though technically I did get stuff from Nintendo, I got stuff from Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, Wii, and PlayStation 2. I just like to run the gambit when it comes to, plus as well, I have systems for all of these. But if you'd like specifically more, say, just Nintendo, or specifically just Sega, again, you can customize and get the list for consoles exactly the way you want to collect, and not get all the extra filler that goes along with it. Again, if you are interested, the link will be down below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like. If you're loving the content that you're seeing and certainly want to stick around for more, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn as well on the bell notification. Keep your peepers peeled because we will have more videos coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.